Hello. Uh, hello, I'm Gryffindor Eli Jeffords, and uh, today we are finally uh, continuing uh, our, uh, our life beginning in our ways. Uh, and uh, as you recall, my character's name is, is Elijah Fritz, and we are going to start from now. And as you can see, I'm wearing my Gryffindor jo uh, Quidditch jersey. Woo! Okay. So, we're going to get all of this done today. It may be a fragment. But it's getting done today. Okay. Okay. All right, kids. We're done here with dinner. Come to the table. Yes. Ah. Nobody saw that. Your stomach gravel right on time, as if it uh, heard, uh, heard your mom's word. You halted your game and looked over. Mom was almost done uh, done setting the table. She was walking around the um, monarch wood in the process of putting down poultry. Mommy was still in the kitchen, humming under her breath as she turned off the stove and put empty pots in the uh, sink to wash. For, uh, from beside you, Lizzie stood um, crossing her arm, uh, her legs and stu uh, standing up. She stretches her arm over, uh, above her head. Finally, I'm ready to eat. Then she casts a sly glance in your direction. You recognize that look. Last one to the table is a rotten egg. I haven't. But it was too late. Lizzie has already bought her, uh, bolted towards the kitchen. Okay, this is me. As Elijah Fritz. So. My competitive side will get the best of me. I am Gryffindor after all. We're known to be competitive. So, try catch apples up. It wasn't a very fair race. You knew that. But you were ready to join in anyway. You stood up from the floor as quick, uh, as, quick as you dared and ran after her. Though there wasn't really time to close the gap. It was a short distance to the kitchen table. Lizzie managed to get there easily enough, slipping her hand over the wood. Mommy moved just before Lizzie could bump into her. With an expiration sigh, she resumed her work. I win again! You didn't win. You didn't win because you, uh, you were reasoned by yourself. Because you cheated. Okay, you won. You didn't bother t trying to talk to, uh, talk to about it. Because you cheated. I didn't cheat. You ran before me. Yeah, because that's how racing works. The one who starts first wins first. That isn't true. That sounds like something a rotten egg would say. Liz uh, Lizzie grinned her, uh, grinned her hands on her hips, then looked over your shoulder. Cove, you, uh, you can be the time breaker. Was the real race that uh, uh, was that a real race that I totally won? Oh no. You blinked. You hadn't noticed what he's been doing during this little event, which wasn't much. You spotted Cove still on the floor. His legs were crossed beneath him, the arm with his chest uh, resting in his lap. He looked at the two of you with a slight frown. It felt sort of strange to see him uh, still here so late. Tonight, Cove had come to your house for a sleepover. Your mom, uh, your mom's, and his dad had plan uh, planned it for a few days ago. You weren't surprised. You've been begging your mom to invite Cove over for one day. You were excited when your mom's told you uh, told you the idea. He was really going to stay over. You had been so nervous from the moment you found out. I wasn't surprised. You weren't surprised. You've been, you been begging your mom to invite Cove over one uh, over one day. 
They promised that they would. Now they had made good on the word. You look forward to it since the moment you found out. And you even helped mom search, uh, search the storage room for a sleeping bag and extra uh, bedding to prepare for his visit. Cove uh, pus- uh, pushed his lips at Lizzie, uh, Lizzie's question, but he didn't respond. Maybe he was planning on ignoring her. Not that Lizzie would have made it easy. Well, did I win or what? No. What? I don't think you won. How come? It's not my fault, Elijah Slow. Cheating's cheating, and cheater never wins. Cove smacked a shy pe- uh, snuck a, sn- a shy peek at you before answering her. I picked her and she picks me. You are a couple of rotting eggs then. That's enough. Nobody here is a loser or a rotting egg. You're, uh, you're each firm and fresh, which is a sentence I never thought I'd say. All right. Now listen to mom and come sit at the table before, uh, for dinner, all three of you. You and Lizzie obey, sitting across from each other at the edge of the table. Lizzie uh, blew blew raspberry at at you when Mom turned her back. Your parents brought uh, lots of the food. Then uh, they took seats farther down the table instead of sitting right next to you and Lizzie. Only Cove was left out. He had uh, stood uh, stood up from his spot on the floor, but he hadn't made a move towards the kitchen. Cove? You can sit down. You can sit too. Slowly, his eye uh, eyed the four seats that were left. Thanks to the new sitting arrangement your parents choose, one free chair was beside you, another next to Lizzie, and the last two were on the other side of where your moms were sitting. You can sit anywhere you want to. 